It's your boy Moneyville Dot. It's your boy to the tools. So, you know, Mr. Rare Room, King Beyond himself. And you're watching Pressing Personal Season 2. Yeah, that. He wanted to have a name in these streets, now he a whole like pack his bitch come wait until he dock his shit a whole rap Hosted with the tip, getting head at your candlelight Let me catch him out tonight, it'll be another candlelight Bitch, I got geek bowl in my right, but this ain't Friday Moving at a fast pace, smoking on this gas, ayy Tell us where you're from and what pushed you to pursue music all right, I'm from multiple places. I was born in Linwood, California. Grew up in Watts, moved from Watts to La Ponte. Ended up the longest city, Rialto, California. So I'm from Rialto, back and forth to Compton. I'm from Rialto and Compton. Those are the city I claim. What else you asking? Because I kind of forgot. What pushed you to pursue music? Oh, what pushed me to pursue music? I used to do this shit, like, um, watching. Like, I'm older, so I used to watch, like, People like Bow Wow and them out there young doing it, Crash Cross, and then I, I was like kind of infatuated with the Cash Money era and the, the Diddy shit. It was like, oh yeah, they throwing champagne on females. It's lit, you feel me? So that pursued it at first, and then I just started having a passion for it, but I was crossed between having a passion for rap and the business, you know. But it was just really like the, the view of it at the time, like, it's a whole different lifestyle from what I was really seeing. And then being from LA and having the experiences you did growing up, how does the atmosphere or environment you're in impact the way you make music? Oh man, um, it impacted a lot because like you realize you're not the only one living like that. So it's relatable out of the way and it's fucked up that it's relatable because you're young and got people young dying around you and it's, that means that other people young and got people dying around them too. So growing up over there in the hoods and shit, it, it, it's like, you see a lot. So you got a lot to talk about, sadly. You try to make this shit fun. Do you often practice Satanism? No, because I'm not a Satanism. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> Wait, where, where, where'd you even get that from, though? I saw you in your music video throwing up some signs. I was like, oh, that looks like he's just praising the devil. Those is gang signs. Oh my gosh, you're a gang <laughs> member. Hell yeah. Where are you from? I'm from about to see the block five. Don't Road. lie to me. I won't lie to you. You can do um, your background check. I'm a, I'm, I'm a uh, affiliated, I guess. Okay. So you don't hail Satan? Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not in your nature? <laughs> Hell no. Is it in yours? No, nah, no. Nah. You sure? Because uh, how you, because out of all sides in the world and things you could have panted that to, you panted to Satanism. So did you do your research? Did you do your homework? You know, I would expect a Scorpio to try to flip the question. What? <laughs> <laughs> got you with that one. All right, you got it. All right, so you're the founder of Moneyville Records. Nice. How would you describe your company's culture and what roles does your team need to have in order to take it to that next level? Um, let's we'll start with the last question. The role that anybody that want to come mess with the bill, you got to have hunger. You feel me? You got to have hunger and faith. Because it's like, you know, right now, I'm being all the way real. All I can do is supply my contacts that I got and the little money I do have and the knowledge I do have. So if you hunger and got faith in what I can do for you, it's going to happen. You got to understand that this shit going to be hard and all that. But Mayville, the, what we bring into the culture is we are the culture. We natural. And at the moment, I'm actually bringing a new eyesight to Vegas parties because that's all I got right now. I didn't have my share of different like artists, but it's like Vegas, they don't got no kind of like sound for reals. And for them to be a part of the West Coast, they if you listen to most of their artists, none of their artists, is, it's not too many West Coast sounding artists out there. And I got them. I feel that. Everyone talking on the Detroit beats and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm making sure they keeping it natural. And because he versatile, he can really get greasy if he wants to. We trying to push out of him. But yeah, it's really ugly over here, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> what? For real fruits when they start when it's like little pet bull puppies when they when they, when I set them off they might look cute but they gonna get ugly. I'm telling you. I like that. I like that. <laughs> best artist in money bill and worst. I'm the best artist because I'm the only artist for real. I work hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the upcoming artist he getting there, but like best rapper him, mm -hmm. the weakest link, buddy. 
because he had the belly. I'm gonna keep it real and I'm gonna get personal since this is person to person. Mm -hmm. Buddy knows before anything of him ever having the tape because he's been around. I, he, I, I gave him this opportunity to sit at this table about two to a year and a half ago. You feel me? And we had just came off of a cold, breaking down bag season. And if you know anything about that run we had with that, that was just time to lift off. You feel me? And shit, it was like, we had a dead moment. We built this shit up. So I blame that on him because we had a plan. If we didn't have that in plan, cool. But yeah, he was weak as late. He blew the bag. And touching Facts. on that, like on YouTube, who's beating whose ass? Me. You're taking it? They're gonna have to jump me. Definitely get a jump. <laughs> get a jump man. For one, he know I can pick him up. I just have to pick him up over the gate. Throw this little ass over there. That's the nigga I fit my little brother in my pocket for reals. <laughs> Damn. You know I'm a Titan for real, like real warrior over here. Like, I mean, they're gonna probably try to get me on my sleeve. I'm gonna go blind. <laughs> like, let me see my eye. <laughs> no, honestly, shit, you know, I wouldn't even fight, bro. Just cause, not not because I would fight, I, like beat his ass or whatever. Just cause of the love I got from my yeah, brother. Yeah, like that's like, your brother. Yeah, yeah, pissed me off the other day, yesterday. As a matter of fact, I'm like, you know what? I told bro, I said, I'm gonna fight. No, I'm gonna, <laughs> no, I want to fight him, but I can't. I'm not gonna fight. But that's my brother. So you know, anything about close siblings, friends, and all that, it's gonna be the frustration with each other. And yeah, I mean. You gotta like think, is it worth it? Cause I'll be worth it through it. Wait, if I fight, okay. <laughs> you can smack my lips over and all that. <laughs> now, on a serious note, what's a song you've written that has the most personal meaning to you and why? <laughs> my most personal song, I feel like, uh, I got a few, but my very, my one. I think it's because it's really a name drop. It's probably where my brother is at. Like, that's kind of like personal. That shit had like, um, uh, when I wrote that song, I think I just kind of toured with a dude, uh, young dude. We cool now. Shout out, shout out, Julie. Julie on drugs. But I got into it. It was like a lot going on at the time. So it was like, fuck, I'm finna just talk shit, name drop. I'm pulling up to niggas' parks, all type of shit on some bullshit. But where my brother's at, back season one, out now, it's on there, featuring T.Y. That shit was personal. It's crazy that you bring that up because the next question, um, and again, you have your skips if you don't want to answer this. Mm -hmm. um, but if you'd like to, tell us about how the passing of T.Y. has affected you. Um, you know, may he rest in heaven. And uh, is it still affecting you and what you're doing to keep his name alive? Hell yeah, that shit affected me. Like, cause that shit shit my whole life. No lie, like that was a person like he was like the last couple of like moments before he was dying, he wasn't talking every day, every day like we used to, because we were both going through whatever we was going through. And it fucked me up because like my last at time actually talking to him. I told him like, man, you know I love you no matter what we going through or whatever, but you know I love you. And I need you to shoot these videos that they just did. Uh, and like that's my god, that's my godson's dad and shit. But my brother for real. We built a crazy relationship, and that shit really fucked me up because the conversations every morning, any time of the night, like I just can't not think of that nigga. Like, you feel me? I'm finna go get his button right now so I can put it on so he can be in his motherfucking with a nigga. But that shit fucked the nigga up for real, for real. But I gained a couple of his friends that love that man too. Some of his sisters and shit. Shout out to him, shout out to Water Break, though. Triple M shit. But we just gonna keep this shit rocking for real. We gonna keep every show I do, I'm making sure they hear his voice. Whether it's a song I'm on there with him or just him by himself. He got unreleased music. If I can get it, I'm gonna do doing that, dropping that. Shit. So we just gonna keep his name rocking, just like we keep it Tonto name rocking, LB name rocking. Anybody else he doing it for, we just gonna keep this shit rocking. Really? I respect that vulnerability and like the real realness it takes to say something like that. Well, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of cap and rap nowadays. <coughs> Most of these niggas ain't real at all. <coughs> so how do you respond to mainstream artists who get caught up in rapping about a lifestyle that they've never lived? Shit, it's entertainment at the same time. You gotta know what you signed up for. So it's like when you open them doors, you gotta know like you got the choice. 
to be a hood nigga that I say, you know what, I want to do something different. Let me go bust out this country. The country. Niggas can call you out like, nigga, you ain't never lived on the farm. So you got to choose your shit wisely and shit. But I'm going to keep it real. Like, I feel like if you're going to cap, cap about some shit that's like not going to lead you into fucking nowhere, like, Cap about the bitches you got, even though you, you probably ain't got that many bitches. Cap about your little money a little bit, I guess, but don't cap about bodies and shit, and now you mad on the feds at your show. You get rich on it. Like, you get know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so if you're gonna cap, don't cap the like to where it's like making people, you know, like you from certain areas. Motherfuckers wanna throw signs up and never been in these areas, and then when those things start latching on to them, they get problems that latch on with them. And speaking on Rico, since you mentioned that, um, let's talk about the whole like YSO thing. How you feel about Gunna? Oh man! Uh, because we all saw the video. He did say YSO is a gang. No, YSL, he said YSO is a gang. For sure, he said YSO is a gang. But um, I feel like past that shit, he a gang member himself, allegedly. But man, <laughs> boy, when y'all see that man on Crime Stopper, like, but. It ain't changed. It ain't changed nothing. The nigga making more money than ever. It's like six nine. Like it just lets you know that they been sold the streets. They been sold the streets, man. I I had a situation with a person I can't name and shit that y'all know, and um, I got calls from my G homies about it, and I was like really trying to protect his property shit, and he was like, man. Can't even be getting to with these niggas. I'm just showing niggas post with clout because that's what these niggas looking for. And lo and behold, that person became a big name in entertainment for his drama. That's all I'm gonna say. Admit the most embarrassing sex moment that's ever happened to you and name drop the person who's. Oh man, I can't even name drop the person. Shit. If I tell you, if I tell you the moment, I can't. I, I mean, I can't you gotta skip. You gotta skip. I don't wanna skip it though, because if I say the moment, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. Look, I've been yeah. shitted on a nigga, champ. What? what? I've been shitted on a nigga before. Oh my god. I'm thinking it's dark. Nigga thinking it's M. What the fuck going on? Yeah, bro. I don't know what the fuck happened. I can't even tell y'all. Like, bro. What? I thought that shit was gonna be happening in movies. I seen two girls one cup episode. I said, this is a rap. This is a rap, bro. Jenny? <laughs> yes, what's her name? Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> Let's go, man. So being that you're well acquainted with Vegas as well as Cali, tell us an independent label that Moneyville Records could easily body in a song for some verses. <laughs> name some labels out here. Cause shit, goddamn, these motherfuckers, I don't know if they labels or if they groups. See what we got. I know if we got. It's gorgeous, and they got a whole. Okay. See what it's gorgeous. By me, saying well, having sit down meal. Excuse me. By me having sit down meal with them, I don't know if it's like who's really an artist of their label or just doing distribution through them. If you know what you know, yeah. like you know, they give out distribution opportunities. Oh, yeah, I've got to sit down with them. So. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but a lot of people on there, we smack in. Oh yeah. So gorgeous, getting matter of fact. Um, Ah, uh, I forgot we on camera, but that's on me. Listen, <laughs> technically, technically, Moneyville body, body, they label because it was artists on the West Coast that was on there that all fact know that my performance, me and Jay been on that stage with my team been on the stage was the oh you was on there too. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's the reason why that shit got lit and all that. The motherfuckers was trying too cool for school. Who else we got? What what y'all y'all from Vegas tell me something because I feel like we body and everybody. It could be um, so who y'all who um, independent groups? labels in Cali too. Independent labels in Cali. Yeah. They got we got some shit. They got some shit in Vegas too though. But we smacking anything except okay. anybody that do the melodic shit. Then I'm calling Jay. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have the, that type of confidence and shit. You feel me? Yeah. We we smacking we smacking. You put us in a room with a lot of people. We the little guys. Just cause we the, we the least number, we not coming with a million niggas all the time. If anything, we always gonna be the least deep. You feel me? And then I'm the only gang banger. They from the streets and shit, but I'm the real gang banger. Like gang, that like came from gang banging and shit. So it's like we not even affiliated. I'm not affiliating them with that shit. So we the smallest in the group. We coming to handle business and we gonna show up. We go to any of my shows, it shows. 
who the artist. It's not even about just the uh, lyrics and all that, which that's there too. But when it comes to entertaining and giving the show, money will come to the back every time. So, <laughs> you ain't been the one come out. So, like, moving forward with the in the future, where do you see like your career in the company um, mm. and your artists in like five years or something? Okay, so with him, I see him having a big house. You feel me? Son riding around with the stuff. He got to get a garage because my boy gets some cars. Um, for show dropping new music, I see him doing like some movies and stuff. For show getting into the acting side. Like soon, um, I know he's going to invest. He want to invest in some garages and stuff, so in some tow trucks. So I'm all for that. Yeah. Um, musically, like I said, it's it's gonna be a lot of stuff. Rebel Records gonna be big for him. I see everything, man. I see a good deal coming this way. I see just the shit, the, the shit he deserves. I mean, we still getting into knowing his dreams and aspirations ourselves on this side. He's starting to open up. When it builds a family first for anything. Um, and just as a whole for myself, I just see me doing my job and that's making sure anybody that mess with me, fuck with me, and invest in me and our I invest in them, then it's it's recovered and it's worth it. We all just eating and living that life for our family. I was told by a source a long time ago that you said if I was a femme all the time that I would be a bad bitch. <laughs> and seeing you comment on my recent photo reminded me of this. So if I look like that right now, fuck you fucking me or not? Oh, I'm locked in, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I say Kodak vibes. You have some Kodak vibes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kodak vibes. Yeah. <laughs> I was just telling Jay no, about that. I was like, those are, who don't know. Like, you are very beautiful. Like, I was talking to my girl and all that. When we first met you, we was like, I don't know, like, is she a stud or whatever? But, like, I'm she, both. she I'm dropped both. out in there and got her sexy on. And I'm like, she did the damn thing. Like, I got to get props for props. Is, you feel me? I appreciate so, that. Yeah. <laughs> I got to set up, bro. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 This is a question that we asked earlier, but I want to ask you because it was skipped. Um, you letting Sukihana bend you over and eat your ass, or you taking Krishan Rock with that yeast infection? I ain't taking the yeast infection, man. Bitch gotta eat the ass, but I ain't. Be Wait, you said bend over? Yes, yeah, you have to bend uh, over on your uh, knees, like and not like lift your legs yeah. like those niggas do. You gotta on your knees. Freaking, that's freaking. Freaking. I mean, that's not that's not necessarily bad. Just get in on here, eat that ass. You feel me? Look, but I'm not gonna bend over not. though. But like Christian Rock Pussy was yeasty and it looked that weak at the same time, so I'm gonna skip that one. Cause yeah, it wasn't creamy. I'm gonna have to skip that one. That'd be your if, weakest it, if the pussy was really creamy, cool. And, and, and if the like if the ass eating wasn't bent over, then cool. But no, nah, that's a terrible selection. It is. <laughs> so, so let's touch on that for a minute because you said yeah at first. So, what type of freak are you? What type of shit you like? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a real like Scorpio. Like, that's that. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real like, like a bad Scorpio. I'm talking about like, please stay away from me. If you ain't like, I'm a tie your bitch up, all that. Like, on that. Oh, and on that. Like, you feel me? Only thing I'm not doing is like, you feel me, all the little. You know, gay on gay shit, like, but yeah. bitch, you better watch out. Wait, you doing, like, some type of role play? Oh, yeah, you feel me? I'm, I'm you could be, like, like Aladdin. Oh, I don't know, a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna come in, I was gonna hit her with the, like, you feel me, like, the uh, snowfall moment type shit. Throw my little suit on, like, Franklin, have her coming out, like, yeah. You feel me? Talk my I little shit. It. I role play, though. I, was I like recently heard of another scenario that apparently, man. apparently a lot of people are into this. Um, it. having white women come in with like whips and call them a nigga. Yeah, see that is wild. <laughs> hey, I, yeah. hey, they got porn videos with that shit, and that mm -hmm. shit is wild. That nigga. Some people really get off that shit. Into that shit, bro. Somebody in Malinia, I told them it's a fetish for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fetish for What's everything. What's your fetish? Mine's. I like titties. I'm a basic fetish nigga. I like freaks though. I like like sloppy head type shit. Nasty. I'm one of them like up on the dick type niggas. Like, yeah. Tell the truth, dog. You like feet. Nah, I ain't feet nigga. I ain't a feet nigga. Bitches don't take care of their feet enough. And then like, I be seeing bitches walking around and they feet be blacker than me. 
And that shit is really the turn yeah. on. Like I grew up with just my mom, so I'm very big. Well, you on, black like, as fuck. <laughs> Come on, man. <now. laughs> so if I'm black as fuck, like I'd be like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> good. That's wow. This is be dirty. Hell no. So it's safe to say you don't suck toes. I suck some toes though, like. But they gotta be done pretty yeah. clean. After you got his levels. Okay, so let me get this right because I don't want nobody watching this. Like, oh, what's his IG? <laughs> oh my God. If I'm not fucking with you, that's not happening. I just thought that's not just what I'm out there doing. Like, just fucking with bitches and that's what's going on. We fucking and it's just so happy you get basic dick. If you can make it through the basic dick, you might get some other shit if your personality, I come with the personality and shit, but a nigga real free spit in your mouth, all type of shit, you know. Real domination nigga, but you know, that's not fair. I feel that. I feel that. All right, let's wrap it up. Anything you want to say? Any announcements? I do want to say it's almost 554. If you know, you know. But shout out Moneyville, shout out Red Room Records, shout out Press Season, shout out my daughter Princess, Beauty, Ares, rest in peace, shout out LB, rest in peace. Hey, if you out there doing something, and motherfuckers around you don't seem like they supporting. Go out there around the people that's gonna support. Cause it ain't gonna always come from families and friends you grow up with. This shit come from other people. You just gotta put yourself in places to win. And you're gonna always win, whether it's bigger than you can't you're not gonna always be big as a Kardashian, because you're probably not gonna do the shit that, that they did to get where they at. No shade, but be true to you. And back out out now, back out out now, back out out now. Like if they don't find nobody, what's the problem? That's a cold case. Be on some hoes in and tell them cause some more friends. She can't be my bitches, she don't like bitches on everything. Money film, weather rain, locked in, gang gang. T.Y., that's my brother, disrespect him, it's gon' get ugly E now, ladies, when I slide, cause it's gon' get ugly Remember when them hoes didn't really like me, now these hoes love me Yeah, I know these hoes love me Easy on the beat, Sinatra on the mix Tell your bitch to stop looking or she get hit Tell your bitch I'm in my bag since she riding dick They know the gang up in this bitch, so they ain't trying shit